today I'm going to be doing a video using the Hornaday bullet comparator, the Hornaday overall length gauge, and the modified case. Uh, I'll be using for my 308 uh, 155 grain boat tail hollow point from Hornaday and an ELDX 200 grain. 30 caliber for 308 Hornaday bullet. And also I'll probably be going over some of the more common uses for the bullet comparator set and some of the downsides of the overall length gauge and bullet comparator set. All right, here we go. All right, first off, you have to find the adapter for the caliber you are using. The kit comes with a 22 caliber a 24 caliber, 25 caliber, 27 caliber, 28 caliber, and the 30 caliber that is already installed. So first off, take this and you install it onto your micrometers. Sorry, calipers. Close it up and zero it out. So that's ready to go. For the overall case, you take the Hornaday modified case, screw it on to the overall length gauge, and it's ready to go. And I'm going to start with the 155 grain Botel hollow point. see the bolt has been removed and the magazine is out which brings us to the one downside I guess it's not even a downside of the kit it's just the downside of trying to do things this way with magazine fed rifles is that every rifle I have my overall length is longer than what the rifle can take in the magazine so if you want to load them single shot it's great but if you want to load them in the magazine, you're going to be loading them shorter than your maximum overall length. All right, so to start, take the bullet and you load it into the modified case. You slide this rod forward and it'll start to push that round out. You take all of that and load it through the chamber, all the way down, and it bottoms out, you push the rod forward as far as you can, and then you lock it right here. And then you remove it, and the bullet will stay. And this is where you will need a cleaning rod to knock the round back out of the chamber. Do this while filming. Okay, and also wall space is an issue here. There it goes. Knock the round out. Get out of action. load it right back in and it will hit that rod and stop. So we know that is the maximum length that this rifle will take. And again, you're going to want to shorten it by about two thousandths. Then you load that there. Then we know they're right there. 2.261 is the maximum length that 
this round with the 155 grain will fit into my Remington 783 rifle. So really you'd probably want it to be 2.258 would be the maximum you'd ever want to try, which is well longer than this magazine will take. Because I mean, I could even throw the magazine up and show you how much longer that round is compared to the magazine. I mean, it's going to be hanging well. Let's actually get it. Let's actually see. But you can see it just would be hanging well over the front. We're going to be making contact with the front. So it will not feed in the magazine. So if I wanted to load them in one at a time, this would be the way to go. Now let me try with the 200 grain ELDX to show you the difference in the O drive because you're measuring off your O drive instead of the point, which is what really this bullet comparator is good for. All right, let me get ready for the next round. All right, now it's time to try the 200 grain ELDX. Same thing. Put it in until it bottoms. Push the rod in until it bottoms. Tighten it up. Oh, this one stayed in. Let's see here, make sure I actually got it in all the way. Because usually that does not happen. Yep, it seemed like it did what it was supposed to. All right, get the rifle out of the way. Sorry about hitting the camera. All right. Got the maximum overall length on this one. It's two point. Two six nine. So again, two point two six seven would be about your maximum. And again, if you look at it compared to the magazine, it's it's definitely over. You can see that tip is visibly over the edge of that magazine. So, for non-magazine fed, I think the setup would be much better, but for anything that's magazine fed, you end up usually running into the fact that the magazine is shorter than what the overall length your rifle, the overall length that your rifle can actually take. So I'll show you now what I normally use the bullet comparator for. Let me switch on out. What I really like to use the bullet comparator for is measuring overall length to get a consistent overall length because I switched over to 223 just because uh, the tips can get slightly deformed just because of the way they form them. As I mean, if you can see, I don't know if you can even pick it up on camera. These are all from the same batch, but the openings on the hollow points are different sizes, which means the tips are just not identical. They're much more consistent on the O-Jive. So let's measure them on there and see what we get. So we tighten that up. And I've switched over to the 22 caliber bushing. And the first round, these are uh, 75 grain horn a day. So we're at 160 off the O jive, and overall length of 2.485. 160. 160 and a 
so we've got 160, but the overall length is 2.2555. Go back to the first one. I'm out of frame, sorry. So the first one's 550. And this is 556. Sorry, 56. But if you measure them off the Ojive, they are more or less identical. A third one. 6160 258. So measuring from here, they are identical, but the tips we're getting a few thousands. I think almost eight thousands between all the different rounds. Just because of the difference in the tips. So this is what I more use it for, is to get a consistent overall length measuring from a more consistent point on the bullet. Well, I hope this is helpful for you. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. Uh, I'd ask for you to come join us at the Reloaders Network, a group for like-minded reloaders and firearm enthusiasts, and at the Headspace at the Reloaders Network, which is more or less the social media side, so you don't have to worry about all of the uh, Facebook's rules and regulations about firearms. So I hope you can join us over there. Thanks for watching.